The good lady from the 21st District, Representative Roberts. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. When someone asks us why are we spending money for housing for ex-offenders, I think our best response is that we are making our communities safer. Anyone who's involved in law enforcement or post-release supervision will tell us that it is most beneficial to have an address for that person, to know where they live. We all know if we look at the statistics that the percentage of ex-offenders who are sex offenders is small, but those are the ones we definitely want to know where they are. And in my county, we face the embarrassment of press coverage of a release of an offender one time whose community corrections officer helped him find a particular bridge to sleep under. When we house these individuals, it's usually in a rooming house, but sometimes they are able to return to their families. Either way, we have research that says these individuals will reoffend at a lower rate if we provide this housing. And finally, I want to mention that I think this does very much reflect our values. We call our department the Department of Corrections. We don't call it the Department of Revenge and Retribution. When they are released, we choose to treat these individuals as human beings. We have a philosophy or even slogans that say, they did their time, they have paid their debt. And I think if we can make their transition into citizenship easier and more successful, and know that it will save us a significant amount of money and make our communities safer. It's very wise to vote in favor of this bill. Thank you very much.